I'm Matt from Model Flat. Today we're here to look at a model that's been around for a little while, but we'll give it a bit of a review. Blade 450 3D. Let's take a look in the box. Okay, under the foam insert, as you can see, we're looking at a ready to fly. So there's everything in the box that you need to get going. In the ready to fly package, you'll see the helicopter pre assembled, DX6i transmitter on the floor charger and the LiPo battery for the helicopter. Here we are out of the box, um, all unfolded. T timber rotor blades are installed to the, the ready to fly model. We'll have a bit of a look underneath the canopy at the equipment of the helicopter. As you can see at the front of the helicopter, the motor installed is the E-Flight 420 outrunner motor. The speed controller is underneath the bottom. It's a 35 amp helicopter speed controller. The servos installed around the cyclic are the E-Flight DS76s. At the back of the helicopter, you can see the E-Flight G210 heading hole gyro. These are all factory set up, so out of the box, the helicopter is ready to fly. At the tail end of the helicopter, uh, the Blade 450 utilises a belt-driven tail rotor, um, and the rudder servo is a DS76T. The battery included with the Blade 450 is a 3S 2200 milliamp 30C LiPo. Also receive a 12 volt, LiPo balancing charger and it comes with the power lead as well. Again included is a DX6i transmitter by Spectrum. These are a really good transmitter and make the package a, a very economical package to start with. Also included are just some miscellaneous tools and mounting accessories. So there you go guys, the Blade 450 3D has been around for a little while but it's still a really good package. Um, good entry level, good intermediate and performance is really good out of the box. Thanks for taking the time to check this helicopter out with myself. Till next time.